Sorry about that. That should be better now. Um, there. Perfect. Okay. Oh, man, that was bad. Did I mention I'm not very good at this game? <laughs> for this fight with Vort, I'm going to summon two distractions. I'm going to summon Albert, and I'm also going to summon the Swordmaster. I haven't tried out Pestilent Mist on Vort before. I know it works on many of the bosses, so I guess we'll find out if it's any good against him. I grabbed the items up here? No, I did not. All right. Grab that. that. Okay, so this guy's going to shoot at me. And there's a guy right here. There we go. We'll summon him. We'll drop down off the edge here and kill the guy who's sitting there. And then we'll take out the rest of these guys and begin the fight. If you can hear the stomping upstairs, I apologize. It's my son. He's playing. Playing with his mommy. Alright. There we go. Now we got Swordmaster, and now let's fight Vort. Now I'm going to try to do this with Pestilent Mist and see how fast Vort dies from it. Sorry, I skipped the uh, little cutscenes there because, well, they're too long. Yeah, so it does take a fair bit of damage from the Pestilent Mist. It's slow though, and unfortunately Vort doesn't like to stay still, so... So we can see I'm doing a fair amount of damage with Soul Spear. Let's try this. See what we get. Oh, even more damage. Perfect. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. Jesus. paying more attention to fooling around and looking at my o OBS screen than I am playing the game. <laughs> there we go, Vort is dead. Took a few hits myself um, because I wasn't paying attention. But that's that, he is dead. Um, had distractions that clearly didn't do jack. And here we go. Pop the banner and go to the next area. Those crazy looking uh, things are going to pick me up. I'll let you watch it. Oh, someone's doing an at all in the Dark Souls chat again. Jeez, that thing's ugly. Absolutely hideous little creature, isn't they? And there we are. Get the 
this bonfire. Welcome to Undead Settlement. First bonfire lit. Now, for this guy, um, and this is actually something that a friend told me about, this is the best area to do your um, uh, hollowing quest. So when you when you rescue the pilgrim and get your next bonfire and whatever, go to the shrine, get your uh, five free levels by uh, just coming back here and jumping off the edge and collecting your souls again and again and again. Um, and if you do it, a lot of people will do three, two, three. You actually don't have to do that. You can keep going. Um, what I do is I'll do ten falls off the edge. Um, and collect my souls each time and then I go and that way I can get all of my hollowing levels done at once instead of bouncing back and forth loading screens and everything else because the loading screens are a pain in the ass and I don't like sitting through them so yeah and that's that